where do we start? We're uh, we're going to be a really different team. You know, we're really it's really we're an unknown quantity at the moment. I think we we graduated so many starting players, so many key players for us. And I think the big question that everybody's asking right now is how are we going to fill those spots. So uh, I think we're going to we're going to be a uh, we're certainly going to be a different team. We've got new personalities that are stepping up into uh, into roles on the team where they're going to help define the way we're going to play this year. Um, so I think we're going to be a different team. Well, I think Natalia is just just more of the same. She had a, just a spectacular season last year. She scored so many goals and uh, was such a key player through the conference season in particular. You know, a lot of her goals, uh, including a very special hat trick at, uh, at Northridge. So more of the same from Natalia. Really, she's she's more experienced and more comfortable in this uh, among these players now, and she's uh, every day becoming more of a leader in the way that she organises on the field. Um, and she's such a smart player. Uh, that she has the she has she has the ability to make other players around her better. So for her, it's more of the same. For Ma, uh, Ma could be playing in two or three different positions this year. Ma is again so talented that she can play in many different positions, um, and she's a player that we've looked at as, as possibly filling one of those spots along the along the back line. Um, you know, we've been we've been experimenting a little bit through preseason, uh, and we'll see this weekend. But Ma will be playing different positions, I think. She'll play somewhere in the midfield, but again, another player who's who's very talented. She can also play as a forward. Uh, so again, that's going to evolve during the season for Cami. Uh, but she's 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 mature enough, and she's got the experience now where she can do pretty much anything. Uh, she's one player that could genuinely play ten different positions for us, ten different outfield positions. Um, I think she's she's going to be better this year than she was last year. Uh, she looks stronger. She looks fitter. She looks more comfortable. She looks. She's playing quicker uh, than she was twelve months ago. So we're really excited. We're really excited to see what she's going to bring. Every every player that that we recruit here is technically very very sound. You know, everyone can manage the ball, which gives us an opportunity to play in lots of different ways. Uh, we've got wide players that can carry the ball and can go go at players one v one. We've got central players that can play one and two touch. Um, so really, any we can attack teams from any anywhere on the field. Uh, which means that anyone can be a playmaker at any given time, and that includes our goalkeepers. Both of you know all our keepers are, uh, are very competent with their feet. Um, so really, it's not one player; it's going to be a blend of players, and it'll be different players against different opposition. Four goalkeepers now. You know, we just had two goalkeepers last year, so it was uh, it was a very difficult situation. We got four goalkeepers. I think um, there's two that are most competitive that have separated themselves. Uh, one of those is Jen, and Jen just had an for a freshman. Um, for, and for a freshman who was overlooked by, by many programs because she's not your stereotypical build for a Division One goalkeeper. Uh, she's, not the, she's not the tallest, but she's explosive, she's athletic, uh, she's brave, courageous, and uh, she's got fantastic instincts. And she works her butt off in practice. So you put those things together and you've got an elite level goalkeeper. I think statistically she was incredible last year as well as her performances. You know, you look at uh, you know across the entire season, she did very very well. So we're excited to have her back, and she's the she's the one to beat right now. Um, but we've got another uh, freshman coming in, Corey Tobin, who um, who looks every every bit the stereotypical Division One goalkeeper. So she brings a lot of the things that maybe Jen um, has to work harder to do. Um, but it's going to be who's got the composure, who can work hard every day, who can bring the um, who's going to be a gamer. You know, can you can you do well in practice? But which is the goalkeeper that's going to bring it on game day? And at, at the end of the day, keep the ball out the back of the net. So it's very competitive in that spot right now. Um, we'll know a little bit more on Tuesday morning uh, where we're at. Uh, we've got a number of players that can see time in our back line, but we'll uh, you know Zoya comes back. She's the, she's the one returner from that from the back line that played the whole of last season. So. She's a she's she's a real leader uh, in the back there. She's going to be a team captain this year, so we're excited about that. Um, and there's a number of players. Uh, Haley O'Brien, as a freshman, has come in and, and shown that she's ready to play right away uh, at, at centre back. Um, and she's been the um, uh, not a surprise because we've known she's been a, an outstanding player for a long, long time. Um, but she's come in so well prepared this year. I'm really excited for her to show people um, what she's capable of. Because she's not a player that's that's, that's been super high profile, um, but she's going to be a, um, you know, I'm not put too much pressure on her at this point, but I think she's going to be a real key player for us. Uh, Jackie Samus uh, is a returning senior, and uh, she's bringing a huge amount of leadership to this team this year. 
Um, she's you know she's had her ups and downs over the over, over the season, and she's been competing with the likes of Coco Goods and Sarah Devine and Julie Christopher um, in the last three years. All those players are not here now, and I think that opens up a couple of different opportunities for her. So we're excited for her. Um, and then Ma, JB, Alana Soy, Devon De La Rosa, um, gosh, Mandy McBroom is a freshman. They're, they're all vying for those for those spots as well. So um, we're really deep. We're really deep, but it's a, it's a different challenge for us this year, and we're working out how we're going to blend that together. She sat on this couch when she was a sophomore in high school, and I remember talking to her back then about coming to play here. Um, we were... We were probably ranked 168 in the country uh, when she sat when she sat here, um, and she chose to go to North Carolina, who were ranked one or two at the time. Uh, and she went there in 2000. She won a national championship there in 2008. So it's it's a real it's a real thrill for us that to, that that's come full circle now um, to a point where we're a team that um, is an exciting team to be a part of. Uh, and for her coming back for her fifth year, uh, and we'll have it just for that one year. Um, we're really excited. Um, Rach, Rachel is, uh, uh, comes with a lot of experience, a lot of maturity, and um, what's, the, what's, the, um, what's most exciting is that she's as hungry as I've ever seen her. And I've known her for a lot of years, and I've watched her for a lot of years and followed her career. Um, she's so hungry to perform and show people what she can do. And I'm, I'm really excited for that. And uh, you know, uh, I think she's one player that we have to, we have to hold back every day. She'd train for five hours a day if we if we let her. So uh, that's great for the younger players to see. You know, so I think Maddie Solo is someone I'd add to that list as well. You know, coming from Florida, I mean, she's uh, um, she's doing she's doing great things right now as well. So I think she's going to surprise some people this year. Um, but we're a better team than we were uh, a few years ago. That's the first thing. We're competing. Uh, we're competing with some of the some of the top teams in the country. So now we're a, we're a program where people can come and genuinely compete at the highest level. Um, but everything else speaks for itself. You know, we're five minutes from the beach. The players live in Newport Beach. You know, the uh, biggest problem they have is on a breezy day that the sand blows in their back gate. I mean, life is good. Academically, this is an incredible institution. You know, we've got alumni now, recent alumni that have gone on to, to top medical schools, law schools, uh, and getting a teaching credential, nursing programs. You know, they're all, having graduated, have gone on and been, uh, you know, extremely successful beyond here. And I think that package of uh, the soccer program, the location, the environment, and the culture that we have in the team, as well as a degree from here being a platform to go on and be successful in whatever else they choose, uh, as well as the, you know, we've got players that are playing professionally in Europe now, so, you know, that's a great package for a player. Um, and I think we've found a way to take those players that are, um, that have transferred here, and we've put them in situations where they can flourish. We've, uh, um, we've put them in situations where their personalities um, are gonna be emphasized, uh, and uh, we, we give them the opportunity to be successful. And, uh, you know, it's been exciting, you know, and hopefully we continue to be that place where people uh, look, to, look to go if they're uh, looking to transfer. So, um, it's a pleasure to be a part of it every day. And we're still, you know, everybody's hungry to, to continue to get better. You know, the class of, that we recruited back in, that were freshmen here in 2007, that did the amazing things as seniors with everyone else that was here um, in that year, um, you know, really, really underlines that we're, that we're doing some that we're doing some things right here, and uh, you know, with all the transfers, a lot of people talk about the transfers that, that have come in here. Um, there hasn't been anyone that's transferred out, mm -hmm. and in a sport which in which we have the, the largest transfer rate um, of any NCA sport, the fact that no one's trans you know no one's transferred out of here to play soccer anywhere else, um, I think is another huge endorsement. So you know, all the all the measures of success that we can have whether it's on the field, whether it's the, in, in the classroom, whether it's the players going on and being successful in soccer beyond UC Irvine or in whatever field they, they choose to go in, you know, that's, that's, uh, um, that's exciting every day. So it's, it's great.